Doug, what Bob was talking about is absolutely true. We want to get to a point where we can be unconscious competence. But before we can do that, we have to be conscious of what it is that we want. And we're going to go through that thought process right now. This is what the pros do. This is the pros secret, is the thought process in which they put into every shot. And they've done it the same way over and over again. If you watch their routines, you can put a stopwatch to it. They're within the second, the split second, when they're really, really in the groove. So let's go through a good thought process for you right now so you can begin to rehearse doing things in a certain way. Great. All right? So let's start by being aware that this is our golf ball. This is what we're going to do is we're going to try to hit the ball to this particular target. Now this is our action box. Or I love to use what Pia Nielsen came up with. This is the play box. Back over here is the think box. And when we're in the think box, we're creating what we want, all right? And so it starts by you visualizing exactly the type of ball flight you want and where you want that ball to end up. So why don't you do that for me? Just good. give it a good yeah. visual. I see where I want the ball to go, Brad. OK. There's... So tell me about it. What's this shot going to look like? Well, I, I see it going out there rather low, and the wind's blowing a little bit, so it'll drift over into the center of the fairway. Okay. So I actually see my ball sitting out there right now. Excellent. That's a good visual to start with. Now the next part of this is you want to feel, and we want to feel rare. Just like what we talked about earlier, this is the point where we actually practice our rare. Rhythm arc radius with energy. So go ahead and give it some good feels. Connect your visual to the feel in which you so desire. And you'll watch tour pros before they walk into every shot. They're rehearsing that good rhythm. They may not do it in full swing. It may be a little bit in miniature, but they're trying to trigger and, and prime the feels in which they desire to be able to feel good about the shot they're about ready to hit. And that's what you're doing right here. So give it one more time, get comfortable with it. When you feel good, I want you to say, okay, let me get my mind locked back on the target, walk in, set up, and go. That was excellent. Good swing. Now, how did that feel to you? How was your RAR? Go right back to how was your rhythm, arc, radius, and energy. How did that feel to you? That was good. Yeah. I, re I really felt good on that one. I jumped in there right away. You know, Brad, a lot of times what I'll do is get up over the golf ball and, and stand there and then try to refeel what's going on and, and try to think in that play box. Right. He did a great job of describing what I needed to do, and, and, and I did it. You know, and I, I think that that's one of the keys for our students is to understand that they need to do that every time. Yes, it certainly is. And what Doug did right afterwards is he became aware of what he liked about what just happened so he could grow with that. The growing part is very important. It's a part that a lot of people leave out or they grow it in an incorrect way. They're putting energy into what they don't want, like, dang it, I sliced it into the woods again. Certainly that's not going to help us move in the right direction. So become aware of your rare. It's real important to focus on the rare at this point and be conscious of things that we typically aren't conscious about until it becomes your new way of doing things. So this is our process and I'd say that one of the greatest mistakes that I see in this process is this and to be warned of this and that is uh, we'll hit one good shot like you just did and then the next shot you walk in there going okay good that feel great and you, and you walk in not thinking about going through this thought process and guess what happens? It's gone. You go right back to your old paradigm of doing things and you hit a terrible shot and everybody goes, gosh darn it, I just had it a second ago and it just disappeared. Okay, why did it disappear? This is what you want to be aware of. It disappeared because you had not conditioned enough repetitions yet for it to be an unconscious competence. You have to stay in this conscious, competent mode for several repetitions, keeping that same thought process going over and over and over again until it just becomes your new way of doing things.